Hi, I'm Callie from CRK Training. I'm here today with my horse, Noel, and I'd like to share a simple riding tip that has made a really big difference in my own riding. So this is something that applies to all different disciplines, and it can apply no matter what skill level rider you are. So this is the, the idea of riding with your thigh. So what I mean by that is riding by bearing um, some of the weight on your thigh and allowing your thigh to kind of stabilize you in the saddle. So it's a completely different than hanging on or gripping with the thigh, but it's instead a basic positioning of your leg that's going to allow this kind of meaty part of your thigh to bear some of the weight. Let me explain a little bit more what I mean. So when we have our thigh in a position where we can allow weight to come onto this inner part, our lower leg is going to be underneath of us and we're basically going to be in kind of that classic um, shoulder hip heel position. So it, the reason for this is then when we're moving, whether it's just at the walk, but especially important when we go to say a posting trot or to a canter, this part of our thigh can start to um, take some of the weight and it can stabilize us because as our thigh is more going down as the horse moves, we have a lot more stability here than if our thigh is off the saddle. So two common positions that will take you into kind of the, um, the opposite of being able to use your thigh when you ride is if your lower leg is really far forward because as I kick my lower leg forward I feel now the weight is more back here and it's no longer on this inner part of my thigh. The other thing is if I think about taking my toe out it's going to really rotate my knee also rotate me from the hip joint so I'm going to lose all of this contact as well. So first thing that you want to think about to find more of the stability using your thigh is to bring your lower leg back and if you've been rotating your toe out, think about just allowing your heel to kind of fall out slightly. So it's really just finding alignment with your um, foot in a way that's comfortable for your confirmation and is more going with the horse instead of trying to achieve a toes out kind of position. So this is the basic position that's going to help you feel your weight here on the thigh. And then I've got a few different um, ways to describe this feeling that I've picked up from different teachers or different riding mentors I've worked with that were helpful for me. So the, the best one I think is from Angelo Teletin and he describes the idea of kneeling in the saddle. So when you're riding, especially when you're riding at a trot and at canter, you want to think about that you're kneeling in the saddle versus trying to press on the stirrups or versus sitting back here like you were on a sofa or a lounge chair. The other expression that I really like comes from Wendy Murdoch and um, she has these three rules of riding and one of them is to always keep your knees going forward and down. So there's several reasons for this. It just helps with maintaining good forward movement and um, allowing your horse to be able to go forward freely. But when our knee goes forward and down, it helps maintain our lower leg back. So we're not pulling our lower leg back, but rather it's the mechanics of the movement that stabilizes us in this position. What I'm gonna do next is go out and just ride for a few moments and kind of show you in movement how this can really help your riding. So we'll start it at the easiest gate, the walk. So as I'm walking here, I'm thinking about just feeling, again, this inner part of my thigh. And I'm feeling for that knees forward down movement. And now when I go to pick up the trot, as I come up in my posting, I want to feel my weight distributing not only to my stirrup, but I want to feel my weight distributing to my thigh here when my seat leaves the saddle. So one of the 
one of the things that I encourage you to do is experiment a little bit with your own riding. So when you're riding, experiment exaggerating kind of this position. You can see Noelle wants to stop because it's already a little less comfortable for her to move. But if you take your leg here, you can feel that you don't have, it's, you're not going to have any weight along the inner part of your thigh. But if I go from here to bringing my leg back, not only do I get better movement from Noel, but I now feel a lot more stable because I've got more of my leg against the saddle, keeping me secure. And I'm also transferring weight to my thigh instead of just on the stirrups. So this is just a simple riding tip that will help you, especially if you find that you've been struggling with the, um, the trot, the posting trot, and the canter. Think about um, experimenting a little bit with your leg position and bringing this lower leg back, feeling the difference if you move your leg in and out of these different positions, and then riding and feeling the weight on this part of your thigh. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. And if you're watching this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, that's where I will be reading your comments and answering any questions.